Now I will say a few things about ships and submarines and why they float. We've said that things that are more dense than water will sink and that they will necessarily sink because they are more dense than water. But what about something like a battleship? A battleship is made of steel and steel is very, very dense compared to water. So why doesn't a battleship sink? And the answer is that a battleship is not made of solid steel. A battleship is basically hollow. It's a hollow metal object. So if we picture a battleship in the water here, so let's draw the water line, and then here's the ship. It might sit in the water, something like this. And here's the steel hull. It might be a foot thick steel. And this isn't drawn to scale. And then here's the the structure up on top where the where everything is, maybe some guns. Okay, inside is mostly air. There's different decks, there's different levels, these things are gigantic, and there's different rooms inside. But even with all the equipment and supplies inside the boat, it's still mostly air inside here. So even though the hull and the floors and the walls and everything are made of steel, the average density of the ship is less than that of water, and so it floats. And when you put it into the water, it displaces a certain amount of water here, and it displaces an amount of water equal to its own weight. Now imagine our battleship in the water, and imagine a torpedo hitting it. So here's, here's the battleship, basically a hollow steel object. And so say an enemy boat, an enemy submarine comes and fires a torpedo. So here comes the torpedo. Torpedo is basically just an underwater missile. And it comes flying in here and hits the side of the ship and blasts a hole in the side of the ship. And so water starts to pour into the ship. So as the water pours into the ship, the ship takes on water, it gets heavier. And that's a greater downward force and it begins to sink. So there's a couple of different ways to think of this. As it takes on water, you can think of that as the mass increasing. Instead of a boat full of air, it's now a boat full of air and water and it's much heavier. And so there's a larger downward force and if it takes on enough water, there's enough downward force that it can't displace enough water to compensate for that and it goes and sinks all the way to the bottom. Another way to think about it is in terms of density. As the ship fills with water instead of air, the average density of the ship is increasing. Remember it floats because it's not solid steel, it's hollow. The average dens density of the ship with the steel and all the air is less than water. But if you take the air out and re replace it with a bunch of water that's pouring in the hole made by the torpedo, then the average density density of the ship becomes much larger and once its density is greater than that of water the ship will sink.